वेलकम अगेन टू माई चैनल ऑर्गेनिक एंड हाइड्रोपोनिक अर्बन ग्रो प्रो फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू प्रिपेयर सीडलिंग और नर्सरी ऑफ कैप्सिकम प्लांट टू ग्रो इन टू द हाइड्रोपोनिक सिस्टम दिस ईयर वी आर गोइंग टू ग्रो कैप्सिकम इन टू अवर डी एफ टी सिस्टम एंड फॉर डी एफ टी सिस्टम वी आर गोइंग टू प्लांट दैम इन टू द नेट कप लाइक दिस सो इन दिस नेट कप वील पुट क्ले बॉल्स टू सपोर्ट द प्लांट्स नाउ वी कैन ऑल्सो प्लांट सीट डायरेक्टली विद दिस नेट कप एंड क्ले बॉल्स एंड ग्रो इट बट द सक्सेस ऑफ जर्मिनेशन एंड रेट ऑफ ग्रोइंग विल नॉट बी दैट एज वी रिक्वायर सो वॉट वी विल डू वी विल प्रिपेयर अ नर्सरी विद द यूज ऑफ कोकोपिट मीडिया एंड द प्रोट्रे टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अ फुल प्रोसीजर हाउ टू प्रिपेयर द नर्सरी इन दिस प्रोट्रे एंड टू प्रिपेयर द प्लांट्स फॉर द कैप्सिकम आई विल ऑल्सो शेयर यू वॉट केयर वी शूड टेक वाइल प्रिपेयर इन दिस नर्सरी टू हैव अ गुड प्लांट्स फॉर ट्रांसप्लांटिंग टू नो एवरीथिंग इन डिटेल प्लीज स्टे कनेक्टेड टू द वीडियो टिल द एंड डोंट गो अवे लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो नाउ टू प्रिपेयर द गुड सीडलिंग और द गुड नर्सरी वी रिक्वायर थ्री बेजिक थिंग्स द फर्स्ट अ गुड क्वालिटी ऑफ अ हाइब्रिड सीड सो वी हैव गॉट दिस हाइब्रिड कैप्सिकम सीड विथ अस विद अ गुड क्वालिटी देन वी नीड अ प्रोट्रे here we have taken a protre so here is the protre we have selected this protre with the square holes which will avoid rounding of the roots into it and the third thing is the coco peat so if you bringing a coco peat brick then you must wet it before using it now to start the procedure we have started with the wetting of the coco peat in the previous day so we have wet this coco peat last night so that it absorbs the enough of the water and when we sow the seed into it seed will germinate and it will not require any more water till it goes to the two leaf so now let us see how to fill this tray with this coco peat media and how to sow the seeds into it so that it gets a good germination so now let us start first with the filling up this tray with the coco peat media so for that we'll take the one tray from this bunch so here is our tray and now this is a coco peat which we have already pre moisture one thing we need to take care that moisture level into coco peat to be maintained such that it should not drip the water and have a maximum moisture content into it this will ensure that seed will have a good atmosphere for its faster germination to ensure this you can use a simple technique putting it into a bucket with lot of hole so that any excess water in it will get drained here we have done it and you can see that this is a moist and still the no water is dripping now we need to fill this tray with this coco peat and at the time of filling again we need to take care that all the hole should be filled properly there should not be any air pocket or cavity left into this tray now to ensure this we can use a simple thing we can put coco peat in all these trays equally and fill this coco peat little above like this so once we fill this all the hole so you can see that now we have filled this with little more amount of coco peat into this tray now we can either press it lightly or we can tap it so it will ensure that all the cavity will fulfill with the coco peat now we need to remove the excess coco peat and for that we have a scraper you can take the simple wooden stick or anything and we should move this into like this manner so it will literally press and remove all the excess coco peat from the tray so now tray is our 
so now you can see that our tray is filled with this cocoa pit now this way we need to fill all the tray which we are going to use for the sewing so we'll complete the filling of the tray and stack it in the side so this is the way we need to fill the all the trays now you can see that all of our trays are now filled up now it is the turn for sewing the seals now we have got this hybrid capsicum seals and if you see the seals these are coated with the poison you can see these seals are coated with the poison so for that what we have done we have done one bowl with the water and we just pour this seals into this we will let it wet for the 5 10 minutes and then we will clear the water so the all the seals will be clear from the any chemical so now you can see that our seals are mostly the clean there is some still left some coat on this but that's okay now what we'll do will this shift this water out of this seals so we have removed this water now and we will let it dry this seals for another half an hour and then we'll start planting this into our pro trays so this is the clean seals now watch the video till the end and if you find this video interesting and useful then give me a like also share it with the like minded people express your view in a comment box and feel free to give any suggestions to improve let's watch the video don't forget to subscribe so now our seals are ready to sew and we have already filled this cocoa pit into this tray and the trays are also ready now we'll start sewing for that we'll take this tray now first thing we need to make the holes into this tray so we can make the holes with any of this small sticks or pen or pencil anything like this we only need to ensure that hole size should be little higher than the seat so that seats goes in very easily so we'll make this holes with this pen now while making the hole we need to ensure that the hole should not be much deep as chili seats are very small so it should go only 6 to 8 mm deep so that it will not have any difficulty while sprouting so this is how we are making this hole an old tray this is 98 cavity hole tray so we'll put 98 seeds into this so now we have completed the holes so now we have ho all the holes ready with us now we'll take few seeds from this dried seeds which we have wash and now we are starting putting this seeds into the hole now we need to ensure that one seed per hole so if by chance some seeds get double so you should take it and put it into the separate hole so this is the way we are going to put all the seeds in every hole seeds are little wet still so it is difficult to drop we can dry it for some more time also so here we have completed sewing of seed in each of the holes so we have ensure that one seed per hole now it is turn to cover this up so we'll cover this up with the same cocoa pit so it will cover it up if require we can add some cocoa pit in alternative method we can also put the seed into each of the box and push it with this help of the pen or wooden stick and again cover it with the small layer of cocoa pit so this is how we sow all the our seeds into this trays and once we sow all the seeds we we'll stack those trays for germination
Now once our all sewing is over, then we need to stack these trays and prepare a mini germination chamber. So for that we have a plastic with us. So first we will spray this plastic on the bottom. So we are spreading this. Then we will stack all the tray one upon other. We can make it 8 to 10 tray stack at a stretch. So here is the plastic. So we will put all the tray into center so we can cover those trays and then we we'll put these trays over here. So we can make up to 10 numbers at a time. Like this. And cover this plastic over this. So that it will create a moisture room. It will not let moisture to escape. And help in germination. It will maintain moisture and dark surface inside. Now. The chili seeds will grow in 6 to 8 days. So we'll, after 6 or 8 days, we will open this and check if some sprouting sign is shown. Then we will remove this from this mini germination chamber and spread it and start with the watering first. As we have used only the cocoa pit as a media, so the seed will germinate into cocoa pit without any nutrition. So when we first water it with the plain water, and then we will start giving water with the uh, mild strength of the nutrition solution. So this is how we can germinate the chili seeds or the capsicum seeds very easily and successfully. Happy growing!